Thanks. Yeah. So you put it away, so I thought, yeah. yeah as long as you're not gonna like spill it everywhere. Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> well, it'll be just my luck. Look, look, <laughs> Let's you me bring it in the car and I spill it everywhere. Right. And if you yeah. would have been like 60 or 70 years old, I would maybe not yeah. off, offer the same thing. For like but... three. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, Kristen, right? Correct. Okay, that's really Got good. it. Going downtown? Yep. More or less. Gonna hit the park and then maybe go get some lunch. Good. I bet that this driveway, this entrance, sometimes oh, gives gosh. you uh, scary situations. Very, it can be very scary. Yeah, this is a fast Oh well, yeah, road. and then you miss it. You miss the house. It's so. Yeah, you don't see the, the house come in, but mm -hmm. this is a fast road and Very you have to fast. really slow down mm -hmm. to make that entrance. These U-turns are hard too. Yeah, it's a matter of patience. Yeah, I know. If you have a fast car, you could like swing mm -hmm. it, but now with a minivan, it's not gonna work. I had to come from far, there's no Uber rides in this uh, area, I guess. There's no what? <clears throat> I had to come from far to come and get you, so I guess there's not a lot of Uber drivers here. Yeah, yeah. Well, it takes about like 12 minutes to get an Uber. Usually. So. Are oh, you used to it? Yeah, yeah. It's not uh, bad. It gives me time to get ready anyway, so. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, if you know it in advance, then you, right? Yeah. No, it's not a big deal. <clears throat> Just order the right 10 minutes early. Right. Any special plans for tonight? No, not really. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Family? Eh. Eh. <laughs> Probably not. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Are you from here? I'm just gonna play it by ear. I'm from New Jersey. New Jersey? Okay. Yeah. New Jersey. That's, that's cold. Is yeah. that snowy? Well, I haven't been there in like 13 years. So oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, it's cold. It's pretty cold. Winters are brutal. Well, we just had some uh, sniffles up here too. Oh yeah. Down here, no? I mean, that was, was pretty cold brutal. In the thirties in Florida. For Christmas, that was pretty cold. That was weird. I know the timing too. Oh, uh, but the, the timing was good though. Yeah, I, like I know. It. That's Christmas. what I'm saying. That was the timing nice. for Christmas. Perfect. Too bad we didn't get any snow. That would have been cool. That will be the day, right? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. Snowing White on Christmas. Christmas in Florida. Yeah. Well, that'll be the day that I no longer believe in climate change. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no. Climate change is still the right word. It's just that it's not getting warmer, it's getting cooler. Mm -hmm. It fluctuates. Yeah. We don't know the Earth cycles. No. This place has been around for how long? So. The Earth has been much warmer than this uh, in the past. Yeah, the Earth has cycles. Yeah. Texas, you see seashells, you know? Who yeah. knows? You, know, you can't stop Mother Nature. I just realized... You can help it, though. I just realized now, you, now you're walking around with a cup. Really? <laughs> I mean... What are you gonna do with the cup once you, you drink? Because that's a glass. That's all right. I'm just gonna put it in my bag. <laughs> you should have had one of these uh, plastic cups. But, yeah, uh, that's anyway, all right. Well, I got what I got. I don't, you know, I don't like heating products and using plastic. Oh, that's your breakfast? No, well, I drink coffee. I eat late. Yeah. This is about the time I get hungry. So. Yeah, me too. I don't usually eat breakfast. No, me neither. I gotta have my coffee then. Yeah, this is what I'm drinking. <laughs> oh, that is coffee? Oh, yeah. okay. Well, that's important. Yeah, I like my coffee. How do you make it though? I'm using oat milk now. Like making like... Oh, like, interesting. Yeah, I'll either do like a couple <coughs> shots of espresso with oat milk. Or the... Um, oh, interesting. You do a dried, uh -huh. Freeze-dried espresso. I use that with oat milk. But I was doing half and half. And that's like really, really unhealthy. So it took me a really long time to find a substitute that I liked. 
I really like the oat milk. The oat milk is really good. Very, very huh. good. It's like, it still Next has that, like, yeah, it's still creamy. It doesn't yeah. taste like all watered down. I'm gonna write it down actually because I've uh, been using um, almond milk, but I think I have an allergy to oh. almonds. I'm developing one. Really? And I think it's that. I'm not sure yet. And uh, I was thinking about, well, what else can I throw in my coffee? Well, oat milk is a good one. Yeah, I like the oat milk. It's pretty good. The and almond milk is, tastes kind of watery. Like it's watered down a little bit. It is true, but it gives a nice nutty taste to yeah, the coffee. Yeah, that milk. is very true. Yeah. But do you, um, you, you don't use normal milk? No, not anymore. Um, you know, try to stay away from dairy. Especially, well, I would do raw, but it's kind of hard to come by. It's not like, you know. <coughs> but yeah, anything like mucus co forming. Shit, I gotta stay away from shit that causes mucus. So there's diary in Huh? Diary. Yeah. Milk, cheese, all of that. What's that? Milk, cheese all of that well you know i don't know it's just like anything that causes mucus it's just not it's it causes cancer do you think so oh yeah mucus causes cancer yeah or? yeah you should look up dr like dr sevi well they killed him but he's a was like a holistic practitioner and he was curing everything cancer hiv all kinds of stuff and he says everything all the disease stems from mucus huh I've never heard which of is that true theory. it's very true yeah, but it doesn't make sense in the sense that <coughs> that um, mucus is, is created by the body why would the body create something that no, causes it's, cancer it's, ca it's caused by the stuff that we put in our body like think about all the sugar it's almost like I like mucus is like alive it's like a living organism it's an enzyme it's something it's fucking disgusting I know that shit but then there's candida it like just causes a it's like an envi a perfect environment for candida yeah, and yeah. cancer and it, like it's like it's just parasites all that stuff lives in that mucus Huh. And all their excrete, excre excretions, that's probably where it's coming from. Either that, I don't know. Maybe it's their excretions. It's disgusting shit, I know that. So. Huh. I'll look it up. Yeah. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, I'm big into holistic medicine, like alternative medicine. That's always better. I believe that too. Oh, for sure. Yeah, all that. All that other shit will kill you. Oh, yeah. Well, what it does, it, it like makes symptoms go away, but it doesn't make you right better. And not even, it like barely brings them down and then it brings on a whole other host of fucking issues. That's true. And then you start taking other pills for those other issues and it's like a, a domino effect of... That's why you see people on like 20 different medications. Yeah, and then you get addicted to some of those things yeah. as well. You can't do without anymore. Yep. Yeah, they like yeah, to like keep you in the system. Yeah, like look at these people with the diabetes. You know, they gotta go for that insulin. And then when they get you, they get their, the body gets used to it, then guess what, man? Then they need it. Then they gotta have it. That's true. And then you still feel like shit, because it's not curing anything. It's just making shit worse. They, they keep you in the system, eh? Oh, yeah, well, they're I mean, not gonna make money. They're not, excuse me, they're not gonna make money from you healing. They're gonna get money from you being sick. Exactly. Exactly. Well, we have to use our brains, right? We, you have to choose what is good for you and do uh, Yeah, but you're not even allowed right. to do that anymore. But a lot of people, they're like, they, they don't. force, now they're forcing shit on you that you're like, experimental shit, right? <laughs> like with COVID? Yeah. Yeah, trying to force people to, or scare, it's like, they use fear tactics, right? So, like, if, 
you don't pay any attention to it doesn't really affect you but you know if you pay attention and you like believe their lies and fall for it and you know become fearful then mm. uh you know then you end up going with them you know with what they say yeah and then you fuck yourself even more <laughs> Oh, buddy. Yeah, so many people. See, like me, I don't. Re I will never regret uh, not taking that shot. You know? It mm -hmm. didn't affect me. So, whatever. And those people that do, did take the shot, well, shit, man. I'm oh, shit. God bless them. I hope they're alright. I hope. Oh, well, yeah. But they do force it uh, on you, though, in a way, because there was a, a period where I couldn't travel to my country. I'm from the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. I couldn't go there without shots. Right. They wanted exactly. to see uh, immunization. Exactly. And so, yeah, I got my shots. Yep. In hindsight, I also regret doing that, but, you know, I wanted you to You had to do what you had to do. And, yeah. yeah. They put you like in a box. They make you, they like put you, pin you up in a corner and make you do shit you don't want to do. And then you have to live with the shit because you don't know what they put in that. You know? That's true. <clears throat> Those were experimental medicines. Yeah. For sure. Now, luckily, I'm still here. But yeah. There's, there's, there's yeah, a lot there's, of people that had heart problems. There's so and, many people that got, yeah, health issues from that. Yeah. So you did not take your shots? Absolutely not. No. No. Did you get COVID? They, I don't fucking know. Who cares? I'm here right now, right? Oh, well, there you go. I'm here right now. Like, I, I, you know, I got the flu. I got the seasonal sh shit, man. Yeah. They didn't change. Nothing changed. It's still the flu. They just, like, rebranded it. They called it COVID. Come on. All of a sudden, pneumonia and, uh, else disappeared it was like one year there was like no pneumonia cases and that was the year covid hit so everybody that was that had pneumonia that year was diagnosed with covid oh you know to bring up those numbers huh. like you could have fucking got hit by a truck and they would have said oh he died of covid <laughs> he, he tested positive for covid you know so I'm very aware. I'm very, very much aware. That's a little right. too aware. It's like a blessing and a curse because it's hard to be you walk amongst like other people, you know? <laughs> you know? Don't know. The more yeah. I know, the more I know I don't know. That's all I gotta say. Right. <laughs> That's all I know. A lot of people don't agree with you. Exactly. So that, that makes well, it you know, you just gotta shut the fuck up, you know, just go about your business. That's why you can't really pay any attention to it, because then you're just feeding it energy, and then that, that's taking away from your energy when you can be focusing on manifesting some good shit in your life. You know, why focus on that? It's not even, it's not worth my time. Right. At all. I like your attitude. Thanks. Where we can't publish this. <laughs> I know. Well, but, I mean, shit. <laughs> Just don't want to say anything and then it get out. Then I don't fucking know. God, who knows? You know, I always cause. I always stir. Stir the shit. You know, I stir the pot and I cause drama. Well, exactly. That's yeah. yeah. I always cause controversy. Damn. Well, I don't mind. You can post what you like. Just do me a favor. Don't make me look like a dick, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I gave you my card, right? Yeah. Give it yeah, card. I'll okay. check it. I'll send you a link with the video and you can first check it out. If you like it, I'll post it. If you don't like it, I won't. Alright. I'll do it like that. Cool. Thanks, man. But I think that, yeah. Appreciate it. I think that is good information, you know? And, uh, well, that's what I try to come with is good information, you know, stuff that's like 
I'm gonna focus on a solution instead yeah. of the problem. Or address the problem and then, you know, come up with a solution for it. Do you uh, listen to the uh, No Agenda show? Uh, Sometimes. Who's the host? That is uh, Adam Curry and uh, no. John Dvorak. No. No? Can't say it, yeah. Okay. They, they, they have like sort of like the same information also and they try to wake up people and like they have just you remind me a little bit of them so yeah I thought well maybe that's your also where you get your source. yeah I like to be honest like I was there doing that for many years trying to wake other people up and then I got to a point where I'm like I just need to focus on me and yeah. Fuck everybody else. Like I still, I love everyone in the like the universe and everything, right. but I gotta focus on healing myself right. and not, you know, not outside. It's all but inside. It, it, yeah. Uh -huh. Cause but what your what goes on in your mind is a reflection. You know, was what you see on the outside. It's a reflection, right? So, and all the people in your life too are a mirror of you. So everything going on in your life is what is is stemming from inside your your consciousness, your subconscious. So true. Yeah, I feel that uh, the same way. Yeah. Is that whatever you see also in other people is a reflection of yourself. Right, exactly. Because if you see goodness in other people, that's the goodness from yourself. But if you're always mm -hmm. angry, you see, you get a lot of anger around yourself. You know? And it's true, there's no use in waking up other people. They People have to wake up themselves. Yeah, well, you could plant the seed or whatever, yeah, you know, and then just go about your way. Sure. Because if that person doesn't want to see you, what are you going to do? You can't force them to see shit. And you're wasting Especially your energy. Not, Everything yeah. is energy. Everything is energy. So it's either feeds you or it sucks from you. So I know what it is to be sucked on. <laughs> so now I'm looking for what's feeding, what feeds my energy. The fire. You're on track. Yeah, there, I got a long way to go. Now you had some shit uh, behind you. What's that? You had some shit in the past. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've been to hell and back a few times. Oh, really? A couple times in my life. Yeah. It's been rough. It's been a rough ride. You seem to me though like a happy person. Yeah, well, because you gotta fucking work through your shit, man. You gotta work through your shit. Yeah. What am I gonna do? Stay in that low frequency and be like miserable, miserable fuck? I don't want to be a miserable, per a miserable person, man. Like I've lived in hell for so long, I don't need like to do it to myself. I don't need to put myself in hell and keep myself there. No. Yeah. And so then how? spread that around like a fucking STD. What's that? So how did you get? How did you wake up? How did you get out of that? I don't know. I, I gotta write a book. <laughs> I gotta Should. write a book. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm going, I have to. I have to write a book. Me. I've always been pretty spiritual. I don't know, but I've just gone through some rough shit. It's in the, that darkness is when you find light, you know? You have to go in the, like, dark space. In complete solitude. You have to, it's like a soul death. Uh, being, you have to die a few times yeah. to get to where I'm at, <laughs> for sure. You mean literally, or you mean like... Spiritually. Sp yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true though. That it's once a, it's like a soul death. Uh -huh. That's what I call it. I don't know what other people call it. It's like a death and rebirth. Transformation. Dark night of the soul. Sort of. So how how did you get there? 
Man, no, I don't know. There's no way for me. That. I can't guide people. <laughs> I can't yeah. guide people. I can only be me, you know? I, how did I get there? Like, you would have to go through my path to get to where I'm at, you know? Like, That's my fair. son was crushed by a tractor oh, and God. killed. And then my, hu my husband ran him over accidentally. And then my husband passed away of a fentanyl overdose nine months Shit. after that. But before that, I had gone through hell. <laughs> and after that, I had gone through hell. Like, well, I... Shit, man. Wow. Shit, man. I, yeah, I got evic evicted. I got arrested. I got Baker acted. I lost my three children after that. So, yeah. <laughs> gone through hell. Oh, wow. But I've also gone through on, on a, like, major healing journey. So... So I'm gonna be like a motivational speaker. I'm definitely writing a book, that's for sure. Yeah, you're for sure. damn sure. Cause people cry about like the most minute shit. You know, and they wallow in this low frequency of like grief and pain and misery and sorrow. And it's like, you don't have to, it's like your choice to stay in that. It's your choice. You can try to move past it and you can't make it like become you. Because uh -huh. then it becomes like a part of your personality. And you can't let it do that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. No, okay. life's crazy. So, like, I've been on a roller coaster without a seatbelt. <laughs> but. That's an understatement. Yeah, but I'm highly intuitive. So, I. And I have, like, a lot of spiritual protection. So. You know, I. I kind of have. I, I kind of know which way I gotta go. Maneuver through it. Wow, uh, you really have been through hell. Yeah, oh, absolutely. You're still here and you're still positive. Wow. Well, like I wanna that, be the best that, version of myself. That's what I wanna, that's what I'm like striving to become. But just that. And, and the, but the universe uh -huh. is gonna throw you like tests, like curveballs. I get, does, okay, I get some curveballs. <laughs> Life throws you curveballs in the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but you are the example of how to survive a curveball. Right, right. So, yo, let me meet David Goggins. What? <laughs> but you're also a story of hope. Exactly. Because if you can do it, I feel like, well, I can do it, too. Well, because my story's not over, though. Like, I, have to, I haven't had that victory yet. But it's coming. My victory's coming. Because I can't let my husband and my son die in vain either. Like, that's oh, not happening. That's like, that whole thing. shit with the fentanyl, that shit, I'm gonna uh. fucking. I'm gonna put a stop to that uh -huh. if I can. And then my, my son, man, shit. I'm just gonna make sure that they didn't die for no reason. That's beautiful. <sighs> Thanks. Yeah. That's, that's exactly where you turn around. Yeah. You decided that that's not going to be for nothing. Yeah, oh no, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. And I almost died recently. So, well, I just came back from Mexico from a healing retreat, like a healing sanctuary. So I, I think I had like a stroke. <laughs> I totally had a, totally oh. fell off my rocker. Oh, really? Oh my God, yeah. That's when I got like fucking Baker acted and arrested and... In Mexico? No, no, I went to Mexico after, oh, after okay. that whole, my whole nervous breakdown, I guess, if you want to call it. it. I would call it an ascension and a descension. So Other what, people would call it a, a mental breakdown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what was the workshop about? The what? In Mexico. Oh, this is like nine hours of therapy every day. It, it was like so intense, like three hours of enemas, juicing, um, hyperbaric chamber, um, IV therapy, Reiki, yoga. And I was there for two months, no cell phones. Two months? Yeah, yeah, it was every like- Every day? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was so, f and it, but it, like you do at the end of the, your stay, your program that's when you do ancient plant medicine so you get to do like ayahuasca and mushrooms and dmt they have ibogaine i didn't do the ibogaine but 
He just said it so was many great. things in one sentence that I have. What's that? I have to go look these things up. Yeah. Yeah, you should definitely. You said so many things. I know right. Very healing. Very healing. Yeah. Well, the, well, yeah, especially the plant medicine. But yeah, the enemas were very important. The juicing, very important. Fasting. Yeah. Yeah, you need to like really cleanse your body to prepare for that kind of uh, plant medicine. Anyway, man. Yeah. Wow, man. Good talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> Glad I get it. Spit it with you. Take care. What's your name? Mark. Mark. Kristen. Yeah. All right, Kristen. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah. Take care of yourself. All right, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Have you in touch. Right? Yeah, yeah. Bye-bye. Right.